to the point I'm beyond being scared and upset, I'm just mad. I don't want it to happen to anybody else. My little sister, it could have happened to her. A couple of home invaders got more than they bargained for when this Berrien County woman fought back. Kayla Walker says a hammer, a shotgun, and a well-placed grab did the trick and got rid of two home invaders. She says she fought back to protect herself and her baby. WALB News 10's Irisha Jones is here with her frightening story. Kayla Walker took a stand against the two men and she says others should do the same. Kayla Walker's home is more secure now. We got a deadbolt lock on it. We got chains on it so nobody can come in. Tuesday evening, she was in a fight for her life after she heard two loud thumps at her back door. But by the time I got in here, they was coming in and I was pushing them back out hard as I could. Walker says she was face to face with the home intruder. That's when the attack began. Her 10 month old son was sitting in the living room floor. And I hit my head. And that's when he began to punch me in my face and hit me. The man began yelling slurs at Walker. She knew then she had to take her fight to another level. I hit about to grab his privates, and then after all that happened, I reached up and I started choking him. By this time, Walker thinks the attacker went unconscious. She continued to make sure he wasn't going to hurt her anymore. As I grabbed a hammer that was sitting on the counter. I stood over him and the hammer was sitting right here on the counter. When I grabbed the hammer, I started hitting him in his ribs as hard as I could. The attacker was able to get up and follow Walker as she got her gun. Walker insisted she wasn't playing games. This is my new house. I'm here to stay. I'll be back. This is my new house. I said, not at this residence. And I put the gun to his face and the gun clicked, but he ran. Walker says the man left and ran through the woods, leaving a trail of blood behind him. She says she fought back to protect her home and family. If this would have happened to a young girl, they probably wouldn't have fought back. They just need to know, don't give up. You fight back to the fullest, no matter what. Walker says the whole attack lasted about 15 minutes, and she was left with several bruises and scratches, but no severe injuries. Walker was able to identify one man in a photo lineup, but no one has been arrested. The Berrien County Sheriff's Office said their investigation is ongoing, but they wouldn't say anything else about the incident.